This is the Seekins Havoc Element. It's a brand new rifle from Seekins Precision. And, uh, and the big story here is this thing weighs five and a half pounds. So how do you make a bolt action rifle with a 21 inch barrel weigh five and a half pounds? Well, the first thing you do is you make the action, the receiver out of aluminum. Yep, you heard that right. How does it not blow up? Well, you got a steel barrel and then inside this aluminum receiver, you've got a steel insert. And think of it like a barrel extension. So what happens is when that bolt lugs come forward, they seat inside that steel insert, steel insert butts up against the barrel that contains all your pressure. No problems. Uh, historically, if you wanted to rifle this light, what you'd have to do is put a titanium action uh, with a steel bolt. And what happens is once you put uh, lug abutments, once those are made out of titanium and steel starts sliding across them, eventually they're going to gall. What that means, the titanium gets sticky. Uh, and then, you know, you got to tear your rifle apart. You got to reface those lug abutments, reset your headspace. You're going to pay some, you're going to pay a gunsmith to do that one. Uh, this, not a problem. Steel lugs, steel lug abutments. It thinks it's a steel action, except it only weighs five and a half pounds. Um, the other thing that Seekins did, really nice feature about this rifle are these magazines. Now this thing's chambered in 6.5 PRC. And when you load the cartridge overall length of 2.96 inches in a standard AICS detachable box mag that everybody else uses, um, you've got no room to seat those bullets long. So as you know, when you shoot your rifle, rifling wears in the barrel and you've got to start seating those bullets out if you want to maintain accuracy. This magazine allows you to do it. There's a ton of space up here. So when you reload, you shoot your rifle a lot, you can seat those bullets long and have no problems uh, maintaining accuracy and, and keeping your pet load shooting right out of the rifle. Um, the last thing I'd like to point out on this rifle, it's 2,800 bucks, um, but when you compare it to custom rifles, well really there's nothing even in its class, but it has all the features that you would expect on a custom rifle. It's got a carbon fiber stock and every action is bedded into the receiver. A little bit of a pro tip, we're gonna check how to make sure the, uh, the bedding job is done correctly and it's super easy. All you gotta do, stand your rifle on your chair, put your hand like this, you want your, your thumb and your index finger touching the barrel and up against the stock. And what you wanna do, is you're, gonna, you're gonna loosen your rear action screw and then what you, you wanna check for movement, right? So when you break this front action screw loose, pay a lot of attention to what's going on up here and if you feel the barrel move relative to the stock, the bedding job wasn't done correctly. So we're gonna pop that one and no movement, which I'm not surprised, I've checked it before. So bedding job done correctly and when you pull the barrel action out of there, you'll see it's a bedding job, at, there's aluminum pillars that the action sits on and it's just a very sound fundamental rifle, of course, with some exotic new materials using the receiver to make it five and a half pounds. I'd like to thank Seekins Precision for sponsoring this video and if you'd like to know more about the element you can go to their website at www.seekinsprecision.com